How many pink pinks do you want? We had family breakfast this morning and Andrew made waffles. Just blend three cups of oats, then add two large bananas and two cups of plant milk, and blend again until smooth. Pour the batter into the preheated waffle maker lined with coconut oil and cook according to waffle maker instructions. Listen for the little button to click. The waffle maker will go click. Daddy, no, no, Daddy. They keep changing the waffle maker. So is Sandy. Waffle Can you wait till he's done talking? Waffle maker. It keeps doing like waffle blankets. Uh huh. Okay. What were you gonna say, Scout? I'm, 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 I'm right in the back. We also made fresh orange juice with oranges from the farmer's market and banana ice cream with bananas from our garden. To make the ice cream, just add frozen ripe bananas, a splash of plant milk, and vanilla to your high-speed blender like the Vitamix. Blend on low using the tamper to push the ingredients into the blade. Once the bananas create a swirl and everything is just blended, you're done. Be sure not to overblend or the ice cream will become melted. That breakfast was so delicious. I was inspired to create a beautiful spread for family breakfast this morning. It was a little chaotic, like it is in the mornings, but it still turned out really great, and the kids loved the breakfast, and it was really fun. And I was inspired to do that beautiful family breakfast from these new rainforest bowls that I got. They are so beautiful, sturdy, and well-made, and I just love them. And Rainforest Bowls is partnering with me for today's video, so thank you for that. Rainforest Bowls works with sustainable coconut growers in Vietnam who advocate for sustainable farming practices. Collecting discarded coconut shells to turn into beautiful handcrafted bowls, cups, and utensils. I love that no trees are cut down in the process and their mission to promote sustainable living and a greener planet. These plates are so beautiful too, made of bamboo, a renewable and sustainable resource. For every product sold, they plant one tree with the goal of planting one million trees within the next few years with the help of environmental charities. These bowls are great for serving ice cream, smoothie bowls, fruit, and salad in. They're great for meal prepping and they make a great gift this holiday season too. So Rainforest Bowls is offering my viewers a special discount of 25% off your first order site-wide. Just click the link below and use the code ELLEN25 at checkout. And guys, they have way more than just what you see here. Over 60 sustainable kitchen products are available on their site, so be sure to go there and check them all out. You just clean the windows right now. Got a cleaning husband, it's the best.
Open the window slightly. Yep. Like that? That's good. Thanks. Mm -hmm. What time is it? It is 12 o'clock. Oh my gosh, that is so yummy. The best. Spring roll dipping sauce. It's so good. lunch I'm making spring rolls I love spring rolls so much and this dipping sauce is amazing and so creamy it's an easy recipe because you don't even have to cook the marinate the tofu if you don't want to you can just slice it right up use extra firm to make sure it is like the easiest to slice and put in the spring rolls and add whatever veggies you want so I'm gonna roll some up for lunch and make some extra for the kids this recipe is super fresh and packed with lots of veggies. It's a recipe in my ebook, Epic Plant Powered Kid Food, filled with all of our family's favorite whole foods, plant-based recipes, which you can check out at ellenfisher.com or linked below. For the tofu, you can serve it plain or just drain and pat dry, or you can sear it on a pan with coconut aminos or soy sauce. Just simmer on medium-low heat and flip the slices halfway through, about a few minutes, keeping an eye on it to add more coconut aminos as desired so the tofu doesn't stick to the pan. Next, thinly slice your desired veggies. I like to fill my spring rolls with a rainbow of colors, including purple cabbage, bell pepper, cucumber, avocado, fresh mint, and microgreens. And definitely add in some thin rice noodles too. Dip a rice paper in a bowl of warm water, then gently set on your cutting board and load your filling, including the seared tofu. Roll tightly like so, and continue the step until you make your desired number of spring rolls. sesame seeds and dip in the delicious tahini dipping sauce. This recipe is so good and fresh. I really hope you guys love it. It's just so good. Such an easy and delicious, nutritious lunch. So I'm gonna save the extra noodles to use in a cold noodle dish. I can just use the extra sauce, chop a bunch of veggies, probably just add the same veggies that I did to the spring rolls to make like a cold noodle salad. And it's an easy way to have leftovers. I'm gonna store that for tomorrow. Okay, you guys, dinner was an epic fail, which I explain right here. Okay, we had a major mishap, or I had a major mishap. I had tried everything in the crock pot. I don't know what was going on, but there was something wrong with it. It kept giving me this air. So I just transferred everything into the pot to cook. So just go ahead and make this recipe in the pot. And it's looking like it's basically done. And we're gonna serve it with rice. And I'm gonna top mine with avocado and sriracha. So I was basically way too tired to explain everything in the moment. It was such a disaster. I wanted to try out a new one pot soup recipe just by throwing what I felt like into the Instapot and see what happens. Turns out that was a very bad idea because I kept getting this error which we had to look up online what it even meant, which apparently it meant there wasn't enough liquid in the pot, which really didn't make any sense to me because I felt like I had added a lot of liquid for just two cups of lentils. But I decided to give it a try and added more liquid and the error came on again. Tried that two more times Times, and we had to like keep like decompressing it or whatever and all the steam coming out anyways I basically have no idea what happened and Andrew does not like runny soup So yeah, it was a big fail We transferred it to the pot and tried to take out the excess liquid But by that point the damage had been done, but I really do think this recipe was gonna be delicious So I'd like to try it out again in the regular pot soon. You're welcome to try it on your own if you'd like but no guarantees <laughs> Anyways, I'm putting all the recipes down below if you want to try it and sometimes, that's just life, you know? Sometimes recipes do not work out. Thankfully, I have Andrew to come to the rescue for me when I have mishaps in the kitchen. Right, Ange? 
Right? Isn't it your favorite thing to rescue me in the kitchen? This is why he makes dinner most nights because by the end of the evening, I just mess up when it comes to dinner. I think I'm just not on my A game when it comes to dinner. By dinner time, I'm just exhausted from work and kids and everything. Not that he's not exhausted too, but yeah, he just does really well at making dinner for the family and I'm thankful for that. It looks good though. Doesn't that look yummy? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna end the video here. We're gonna go have family dinner outside, and I will see you next video. I am exhausted from this day. Cooking in the kitchen takes a lot out of you. <laughs> also, guys, do not forget to check out Rainforest Bowls and use my discount code linked below. I will see you next video. Hope you enjoy the recipes.